So today's Friday. It's been an awesome week. Um, super high pace, super busy. I was going to sit down and uh, I was trying to get some shit done in the shop. It's 8 o'clock Friday night. Finally, everybody's gone. And uh, I thought, well, I'll clean the garage or, you know, clean some shit up around the shop. And I just found myself spinning around, not getting anything really done. So, like I always say, when you're not sure what to do, do something. Always move forward. So I was going to sit down and sew. And of course, I'm like, well, what fucking time is it? I wonder if it's still daylight. So here I am not sewing also. So I just thought I'd take a minute and go outside, um, get the last daylight for the day. It's 8 o'clock-ish. And uh, literally from walking from the building up to the pond, it has started thundering, and now it is raining, which is, uh, it's not bad. I'll take I'll take every bit of rain we can get right now. Hopefully it comes slower, but a uh, little more rain in that pond, that pond will be uh, full. So I'll bet the next time I see it, you know, tomorrow morning or whatever, I'll bet that motherfucker's filled up. So I'm out in the rain. I'm going to walk back to the building now, and I'm going to sit down and do something. I don't know what that'll be. I thought I would uh, take that raid and build something and I pulled out some pattern sets and thought maybe I'd do a tool bag or a uh, most expensive bag or you know a chub bag or something and man I just don't I don't have the focus right now um, and I know if I cut that motherfucker and start sewing it and I don't finish it I know I won't go back and finish it so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I'm going to do something I got a few more hours uh, in the day and uh, there's all kinds of shit that needs to be done, so something is going to get done here today. I'm just, uh, just, it's one of those fucking, I don't even know how to describe it. I went upstairs today, sat down to sew and just wasn't getting shit done. Went upstairs trying to figure out how to edit videos and, you know, do a better video. And, uh, man, it took... This is the first time I've ever tried to edit a video, but it took me three and a half, four hours almost to um, put together like a 12-minute video. But people are commenting on it, you know, they seem to like it, so I'll get the hang of it. I'm sure I'm sure a month from now it won't take fucking 20 minutes to do what took me all that time, but uh, I'm going to go in here and uh, I'm going to get something done. There it comes. We did get all the, uh, we, I mean, you know, Jeff and Pigman and the guys, got every bit of those uh, branches chipped. So we'll turn that wood chipper in Monday morning and uh, we'll load all the piles of wood that couldn't be chipped and make a big, huge um, wood pile and just pile it up for the next bonfire. We make our bonfire so big they burn literally for 10 days. I think we're gonna do this one smaller and just conserve some of the wood, but, uh, that's it for now. So today is Friday and it is about 8 o'clock and uh, everybody's finally gone. So I was going to uh, get out in the garage and get some shit cleaned up and clean some stuff up around the shop from the week and all and uh, I just found myself fucking not getting any of it done so kind of in just one of those one of those moods where I have a lot of shit I need to do, but I sit down and don't do any of it. So I thought, well... So Babyhead is out here in the garage. He worked till 5. And I got this grinder. Weekend two weeks ago. And he's been pretty good, so I let him open it. So we'll walk out here and see what he's got. What's up? So, the boxes. This is how small it is compared to that box. Well, yeah, what do you think it was going to be? <laughs> well, I didn't expect it to be so small considering the box size. You saw it at, you saw it at Lowe's. This is all the accessories. This is the vacuum thing. I think this is for the disc. The vacuum thing only works if you're doing wood. 
Not yet, but yeah, he ain't cut. Should. He's not cutting a single fucking piece of metal in here. Where are the wrenches, baby? You're funny. He got a he got a piece of steel. Mm-hmm. Bar stock, you know, mild steel or whatever. It might, yeah. We've got a cut off wheel over there. We got a mask. Uh, we got three Why is this belts? motherfucker not focusing? So this is just a little quarter cable from uh, Lowe's. And Babyhead's going to... If he can make something that resembles a knife, then we'll look at other knife making stuff. But we've got a DeWalt cutoff saw over there. And we've got the appropriate belts. Not this one, but some real belts for this thing. And uh, we'll see what he can do. You out of here? Could you make a knife on that? We used a forge. We did Damascus. Right, but how'd you do your stock removal and shit? Well, stuff like that, but big, we got everything that we used from big auctions. Yeah, that's... Like, I was telling him, we had a, it was a big horse stall and all the walls were lined with, with different, grinders. different right. grids, so you could basically just work your way around. Well, if he if he makes something that looks like a knife with this, then we'll we'll Two look at head shank works. We'll, we'll get a Burr King or a Wilmont or something. Okay, so this is for belts. I need to I'm telling you that that is not where that goes. Well, you you want me to show you where it goes? It goes over on this side. That's why it's got the channels. That's this one. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, where do you think that one goes? On this one. How? You have to set it up upright first. Right. See? You might want to crack that open. I would read it in Spanish first. Uh, I can't read. It's better. You'll have more of an appreciation for it. Okay, this is what's going to happen. You're going to open that book and read it before you mess in it with any of this other shit or take any of these screws out or loosen anything. Look at the instructions. All of your answers are in there. At least look at a picture. guys friendly hit or miss like I haven't actually stuck my finger in there and let, let them bite me but when I do it with the glove they don't ever bite I put my hand in this one while I was but when I take one out and put the other one put it back in they bite each other here's where I'm gonna get bit hellos oh sorry don't try to run up on me like you're going to do something. Well, he bit, he bit the phone. Come on. Come on. This morning, one of them's sitting up here. The other one's in the, the fucking poop shoe. And the one up here, you know, uh -huh. was petting him. Completely yeah, fine. The one in the damn, in the poop shoe there... He was going fucking nuts. He did not like me fucking around. See, as soon as you put the glove on, it's like they know that it's impervious to... I think they learned this much from Mom, but that was kind of it. Like, hiss and open your mouth real wide. Here, pull this off so I don't have to put the possum glove in my mouth. Thanks. <laughs> All right, man, have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. Sure, I'll see you. Okay. All right, hey, get all this foam before it gets stepped on any further. Get all the little pieces and dots and everything, put them in that trash. Put them in that box. And then put it in the corner and we'll take it to the dumpster. Okay. And then get this thing put together and we'll save this for until you have this together in case there's a something wrong with it.
All right. When I come out here in another 20 minutes, you better have a knife made. I have to get the steel and the chop saw down first. No, you don't, don't even plug that thing in yet. Get it all put together. All right.